Okay, welcome back to another MRE review. And today, we're starting the day off right. Because we are checking out the Z-Ration Menu X Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeal. Now this one, when I looked at the uh, list of menus for the Z-Ration, was definitely one I wanted to try just because we pr I personally haven't seen an oatmeal MRE, and I've never really tried that many breakfast MREs, so this is one I was definitely really looking forward to trying. So, let's dig right in. One thing I like about these Z Rush MREs is, unlike most other MREs, when you're purchasing the MRE, uh, what all MREs.com does, they're the ones who make the Z ration. They give you a whole list of everything that is in the specific menu that you're getting. So they let you know everything that you're getting with your main, the maple oatmeal, for example. That way, it's a little reassuring okay, if you're worried about getting one of the. Uh, odd little things inside your MRE like an example would be I was watching a review from Nathan's MREs where he was reviewing a beef taco MRE and instead of getting a cheese spread with his he got peanut butter and if I remember correctly I believe it happened both times he reviewed it so what do we got here Right off the top, we got a multi-grain snack bread. Here's our hot beverage, hot beverage bag. Excuse me. Ooh, Taster's Choice House Blend and Propel Grape, which I believe we got. The grape in my last review, when I reviewed the beef taco in Marie, here's a wet nap. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the flameless ration heater, which looks very different from any that I've seen before. At least I personally haven't seen one like this. I'm sure many of you probably have, but it'll be interesting to see how this one works and compared to the regular ones. And we also have some peanut butter. Here's our utensil kit. We got some applesauce, which I really enjoyed the Mott's applesauce and my last review, which, of course, all Mott's applesauce pretty much tastes the same. Chocolate cereal bar. And a Cars Sweet and Salty Nut Mix. And looks like it includes some um, sunflower seeds, some M&M's, some raisins. I can see a couple peanuts in there. Oh. Of course, it says right on the top. Duh. And as always with the Z rations, you get a little thing of tobacco, Tabasco sauce, which we'll be setting it off to the side because we won't need it. And here's our maple brown sugar oatmeal. So let's get all this onto a tray and we'll dig right in. Okay, got everything on the tray. Let's see how. This ration heater works. You know, some people out there will know exactly how this one works, but it's the first time I've seen a ration heater that looks quite like this. So, pretty much basically the same as your normal ration heater. So we tear here. What is it? Gonna find the utensil kit. Salt, 
go in. Get some salt in there. Now we can really get this thing going. As if I don't spill the salt all over myself before we get started. Not really feeling much action from this guy just yet. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get our meal going in, in there. Right. Whew. Yeah, apologize for that. Like I said, I haven't used this specific um, Flemish ration heater before, but it really got going there. I don't know if it was because these ones really these ones work really well, or it was the salt I added in there, or both. This guy really got going, so set this guy off to the side so I can do his thing. Phew, that really got going. Already, that Flemish ration heater was already my new favorite out of them. I, as of right now, would take that one any day over the standard one. Just because that one pretty much instantly got going. Whereas, I've always had bad luck with the regular ones. But then again, that one, they might not. that might just be a lucky go I had. The rest of you probably... May not have had much good luck with those, but hey, so far, that Flemish ration heater gets a thumbs up for me. So let's uh, dig into everything else here. It doesn't look like, unless I missed it, oh, nothing else in the bag. Doesn't look like we got any creamer or sugar with this coffee. Get our spoon out and yeah. We're gonna try out the coffee, so. Set this guy's off the side. Flashing heater sissing at me. beverage bag. Ooh. This coffee smells really good. Yeah, I can't wait to try this. Oh, come on. See if I can get this in without spilling it all over the place and burning myself in the process. Oh, 
it. There we go. Zip it up. Give it a quick stir, make sure everything got mixed up. Okay, let's dive into this propel water. Got our fold up cup right here. Okay, set this guy off to the side. Clean up our mess. Okay. What should we check out first? Let's check out this chocolate cereal bar. Oops. So far, it's most just like one of those, um, oh, what's the brand, what's the kit name called? Leave their, like, chewy bars. So it smells like this one's, ooh, this one's pretty crumbly. Let's see if we can get it out without it all breaking up, because just me grabbing it right there. I'm going to crumble just on my fingers. So. Hmm. This is just pretty good. Got all. I think it must have got all, uh, kind of crushed while it was in the, uh, mail and plus the heat because it is really hot here where we are. Probably caused chocolate to melt and all that stuff. It's the applesauce. Go ahead and throw out this sweet and salty nut mix, which is peanuts, cocoa candies, raisins, sunflower kernels.
Next the uh, multi-grain snack bread. Just like your standard MRE bread. Break off a little piece. Wow. This one's actually pretty on the fresh side because a lot of these snack breads I've had from various MREs, a little on the dry side where if you eat a piece, even if you put like your peanut butter, jelly, whatever on, pretty dry where you have to take a drink. It's peanut butter. Let's get really good mix, make sure that any oils that may have separated and mix back in. Come on. Just peanut butter in here. Right. All right, let's dig in. All right, let's take a sip of this coffee. Not sure what to expect from it because I typically prefer to drink my coffee with some milk or cream and some sugar. Not usually the drinking it dark type, but let's see how it goes. Hmm. Ah. You know, for being dark coffee with nothing in it, this taste of choice is actually pretty good. Try some propel. I always like having some propel. Don't really have it. At least where I live, don't really have it in many of the stores like we used to. Oh, in some of the convenience stores. Yeah, but in like the regular grocery stores, we don't really have it that much anymore. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But it's whatever. Let's try more of this. Uh, Cereal bar. Yeah, it's definitely really good. Like I said, it tastes similar to um, if you ever had the chewy granola bars except it does break up fairly easily but I think that's due to just shipping and 
the heat since it is hot where I am and as you can see the chocolate is on the melted side so I'm assuming that's why I got all crumply a little bit of this snack mix so try and get a little bit of everything It's alright. About your average trail mix, but hey, when you're out in the field, when you're out in the field or just camping, trail mixes are always good for lots of energy, so it's always nice to have. I always like snacking on trail mixes. Check out this. Peanut butter bread. That's pretty good. The peanut butter is definitely fresh. The bread is definitely fresh as well. It's not as dry as most MRE snack breads are and by dry I'm not saying dry as in like it's rock hard it's dry as in when you eat when you eat it it's not you gotta know, take a drink of something in order to get it down Let's see how our Oatmeal is doing. Looks like she, it did get pretty warm. So I didn't mess that up, thankfully. Which if I did, probably be the first time where my meal didn't cook in the flame expression eater and it was my fault. Oh, come on. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump the camera there. So those flame expression heaters, I get this don't heat up. That one really hit, heat up, so next time when I get in one of those flame expression heaters, I know to stick my meal in it before I get it going. There's our oatmeal. You can definitely smell the maple and the brown sugar coming from this. Cool. All right, let's give this oatmeal a try. One more bite here. Yeah, definitely taste the maple. The brown sugar, I'm not tasting quite as much. The consistency in the oatmeal is. About on par with in any of normal oatmeal. Other than that, definitely pretty good.
almost forgot the uh, applesauce. Another drink of the coffee. Oh, just noticed. Got a little peanut butter in my um, cup over there. But yeah, uh, this was the Z Ration uh, Menu X. Maple Brown Sugar MRE. Definitely would recommend this one. Especially if you're interested in trying out breakfast MREs or you just love oatmeal and are just looking for a new kind of MRE to try. Definitely recommend trying out this one and going on all MREs.com and checking out the rest of the Z Ration line of MREs. So they definitely have a lot of diverse diversity in their menus where there's a bunch of different uh, meals part of, it's in the Z ration line that I haven't seen in any other MREs. At least for me personally, I haven't seen them. Yeah, I definitely recommend trying out the Z rations. The uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal. Or menu X. Definitely give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, please check out my previous MRE review. I reviewed. Was it menu O? The beef taco from the Z Ration line. And I definitely. I plan on continuing my review series of the Z Ration MREs. It's because these ones are. Uh, the, these menus are so diverse as compared to other MREs where I just want to dive in and check them all out, so stay tuned for that. And, like, as if you enjoyed this, feel free to like the video and subscribe.